Hello, my name is Rodrigo Ayala. I'm a technical marketing engineer. With the anti-spam feature on WebEx calling, calls are classified to reduce how to waste time answering on welcome calls and potential security risks. Users will stop answering if they do not recognize or if the caller number is unspecified. To protect users against spam calls, service providers are implementing stir shaking in their networks. Stir shaking are standards that define procedures to authenticate and verify caller identification for calls, sending them over the internet protocol network. This is working with certificates and tokens. For now, the anti-spam calling is enabled in the United States and Canada. It will be expanded as more countries approve the STIR checking framework. WebEx Calling directly does not implement these standards. It relies on the verification results added by the Verstat value and the attestation level by terminating PSTM providers to provide visual indicators to end users. When a Cisco WebEx user receives an incoming call, the call is presented with additional visual information to indicate whether a call is from a verified caller or from a potential spam or fraud. If we have the burst at value as passed, the spam indicator is for a verified caller. With no validation, it is unverified and is possible spam. And if we have the burst stat value with fail, it is a potential fraud. Having these indications helps users on WebEx calling to make an informed decision on whether to answer calls from unknown numbers. It is supported in WebEx app for the desktop and mobile version 42.5 or higher, and with desktop phone, phone support 6800, 7800, and 8800 with MPP devices firmware version 11.3.7 or higher. When a Cisco WebEx calling user receives an incoming call, the call is presented with additional visual information to indicate whether a call is from a verified caller or from a potential spam or fraud. This feature also provides two configurable or level policies to treat calls based on stir shaking validation results. To define the caller ID validation, you will need to go to services and then calling. And then to service settings and then scroll down to caller ID validation. You will have two different features there to enable or disable. Block calls that fail caller ID validation and present calls from unverified callers as normal calls. Please do not forget to rate the video and provide suggestions with some interesting WebEx calling topics. Thanks for watching this video.